Were y'all sleeping? If so, I, I really don't care. Wake up. Get up right now. Because there's something brewing with these Baltimore Ravens. There's something brewing with Lamar Jackson. There's something that's getting ready to go down very, very soon. And you can just tell. You can just tell. Earlier today, we talked about Odell Beckham Jr. and the Baltimore Ravens, them throwing them hints out there. And then tonight, just a couple of minutes ago, Lamar Jackson himself. Lamar Jackson decided to chime in. And you know, the thing about Lamar Jackson is he can say so much without even saying a word. Without even saying a word. Because all he did was put a gif. A SpongeBob looking a little confused and at first, then realizing, wait, wait a minute. And then doing this, this grin, this smile. And it, I, again, we've been through this with Lamar already. We know that he knows exactly what he's doing. He is extremely calculated. Extremely. Now, it's interesting because this comes about maybe about an hour and change after Jack Settlement. Um, Jack Settlement, we know he's plugged in a bit uh, with some Ravens players and whatnot. Um, but he tweeted something that was a little interesting. Let's read what he had to say. He said, report, there is an expectation amongst Ravens players that Lamar Jackson intends to sign a long-term deal with Baltimore. The Ravens trade for Odell Beckham Jr. made Lamar happy. One player said, Lamar is signing a long-term deal. It's just a matter of time. So, again, this is from Jack Settlement. And, again, he is plugged in with some of the Ravens players and whatnot. Um, but So he does have some credibility. Um, and and I've, I've seen him report something before. Nothing crazy, but I've seen him report something before, but I, I cannot remember exactly what it was. But, anyway, this it, it, it's just it seems like everything is lining up. It seems like everything is lining up and everything is starting to come together. When is it going to be? Hey, I would expect it. Like, draft is on Thursday. Look, Ravens, Wednesday is a good day to clear a lot of this stuff up. That would be nice. Um, I know y'all like doing stuff right at the deadline. And technically, there is no deadline right now. Well, to, for Lamar to sign a long-term deal, uh, the deadline would be uh, the middle of July. I think July 17th. But anyway... We don't need to worry about that deadline. Let, let's, let's make a new deadline. Let's make the deadline round one of the draft. How about we do that? Right? That's like, sounds good, right? Yeah, yeah, I, th I think we should do that. How about we make that the deadline? And, and, and hopefully this will spark some action. Because that will be a beautiful thing. If before the draft, the Ravens will know officially, not by force, but they will know officially who their starting quarterback is. And there won't be no non-exclusive franchise. No, 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 no. Hopefully it can be with a long-term deal. Whether it's a three-year deal, whether it's a four-year deal, whatever it ends up being. Hopefully they can get this thing squared away ASAP. And both, both, both parties can be happy. Ravens will be happy because I'm sure whatever the deal ends up being, probably not going to be fully guaranteed. But Lamar can be, uh, be happy because whatever the deal ends up being, still get paid a lot of money. <laughs> a lot of money. But now, see, get this. This is the part that I'm really hoping for. This will be the kicker. It started with Odell Beckham Jr. Nelson Aguilar, not too shabby either, but it really started with Odell Beckham Jr. But if the Ravens... They pay Lamar Jackson, pay him a boatload of money. They got Odell Beckham Jr., but if they didn't stop. Now, again, Rashad Bateman, Odell Beckham Jr., Aguilar, DuVernay, that ain't, that ain't bad. Mark Andrews, obviously, J.K. Dobbins, Gus Edwards, Isaiah Likely to throw him in there as well. But that ain't bad. That's not bad, but what if the Ravens did even better? What, what, what if they did even better? Of course, we've been can keep talking about it. I know somebody in the comment section was like, why does Ravens fans keep talking about DeAndre Hopkins? And I replied to him. I said, I'm going to keep talking about DeAndre Hopkins until he is either traded or he signs with another team. Until that happens, oh, you don't hear me talking about DeAndre Hopkins all day. And if you don't like it, hey, that, that's on you. Everything ain't for everybody. 
But what if the Ravens, they don't stop? Obviously, you got the draft coming up in two days. Like, in this time, in two days, Ravens will probably be picking, like, around now. Because the draft starts at, what, like 7.30 or 8? Um, and, you know, they take, them teams take forever to get them picks in in the first round. Because that's the big show. That's when everybody all dressed up and whatnot. They walking down and all that. They get announced. And it's cool. We love it. That's why we stream it. Because we enjoy it. But um, it's going to be a while before we get to pick 22. Unless the Ravens move up, which nobody anticipates them doing. But we could also see the Ravens moving down to acquire even more draft picks. Um, so you'll see. Or, get this. We could also envision the Ravens trading out of the first round. And, and again, these rumors, they, they've been floating around. You, you, I know y'all seen them already. I know y'all seen them already. But these rumors have been floating around like crazy about whatever the Ravens could possibly do. It's crazy out here, man. It's crazy out here. And, and Lamar, he's making it even crazier. Because he's playing games. He, hey, we know what you're doing. But again, the timing. This, this goes back. Remember when Odell Beckham Jr. signed? And we know Lamar has been, he's been posting so much different stuff. Now, what'll get me, what'll really get me going is if the Ravens, Tomorrow morning, because you know Ravens, their social media, they sleep right now. They, they knocked out. They in bed right now. So they got to get ready for work in the morning. Um, but once they wake up tomorrow and they see this, if they quote tweet it, if they quote tweet it, then Lamar signing that deal in the next couple of days. If, if the Ravens quote tweet this from Lamar Jackson, then that deal is, is, is happening over the next two days for sure. Let them mess around and quote tweet it. Watch out tomorrow morning when they wake up. So they got to wake up, have their coffee and stuff, take their shower, brush their teeth, get dressed, head to Owings Mills, log into the Ravens Twitter account, Instagram account, all that good social media stuff. And once they see it, then it's on. So anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. This whole ride has been, it's crazy, but it seems like to me, it's just me, it's just my opinion. I don't know nothing from nothing. But to me, it's seeming like things are lining up. And we are getting close to the end of this whole thing. That's what it seems like to me. That's, again, that's just me. I don't know nothing. But it seems like we are getting closer and closer and closer to the end. And it seems like there's going to be a positive resolution between Lamar Jackson and these Baltimore Ravens. Hopefully, we can hear about that over the next couple of days. Because it seems like we're going to hear about that over the next couple of days. So hopefully, after we hear about that, that can officially confirm that Lamar Jackson, as a Baltimore Raven, will not be out. I love y'all.